Hey guys, Luke Fogg here, and welcome to another FIFA 21 SBC video. And uh, the second SBC that was released today is Onda Baraten. I'm not even going to attempt to try and pronounce his, uh, his surname. I've actually never heard of this guy, so I've been sure to kind of see the, the increase that this guy's got. Was he like a silver card before this or whatever? He actually looks pretty decent, to be fair. I won't be reviewing him, though. I will be doing a review on the flashback. Uh, Gerard PK, I did a video kind of covering him, giving my first thoughts on him. He looks absolutely exceptional. That's free flash flashback cards we've had now for the La Liga team of the season and don't get me wrong, I'm loving this daily content, the double the SBCs, but, I, and I feel I've mentioned this in, in quite a few of my videos now, why was this not here for the Premier League team of the season? You know, it's absolutely mad, but, hey, listen, better late than never, I'm loving the daily content and the really, really good, uh, priced, unique SBCs that we have been getting. So, uh, in an under-23 team of the season moments cards, uh, celebrating his superb box... Inside the box goal against Eibar, who I believe are currently bottom of La Liga, or certainly in the relegation zone. Of course, Sausage have actually a pretty decent season, and this card is going to require an 84-rated squad and an 85-rated squad. So no informs, no team of the season cards needed. The chemistry wasn't too bad on this guy. Uh, so that's kind of the reason, under 23, that's probably the reason why I haven't heard of him. But four-star, four-star, medium-medium, nine, not too bad. Um, his in-game stats, his pace is very good. His shooting's very nice. I mean, shot power, finishing, uh, and positioning, just how you want it. Fantastic. His passing is is nice. I mean, his curve needs to be better than AC. His long passing it isn't the most important for a left winger, but you still want it to be better than 71. Free kicks are 35. Does that really matter? Probably not, to be fair, because the chances are you've already got someone in your team who's already got like way better free kicks than him. Uh, I, I personally don't, I feel that free kicks should always be in the shooting category and not in passing, in my personal opinion anyway. Uh, his vision isn't too bad, his short passing is pretty nice and his, his crossing superb, but for a left winger, for an out wide player, that curve has got to be increased, it can't be left at 80 because that's not good enough. And I just saw another problem, reactions and composure for an attacker are very, very poor. His agility and his balance are fine, his ball control and his dribbling are also okay, they're not exceptional but they're okay, his reactions and composure are not good at all though you can't increase composure no matter what camera style you have i believe you can increase reactions but that is concerning for what he requires as well i mean an 84 and an 85 that's going to come in at what 100 and definitely over 100 000 coins maybe 120 130k because of no inform needed his physicality stats aren't too bad to be fair uh, and nothing really in terms of player traits i i, I don't know um I, I feel that this should have personally been like an 81 rated and an 84 rated with an inform. I feel that this one, personally, it hasn't been priced that well. Even though he's 89 rated, I feel that for an attacker, he's got too many stats that just aren't good enough. Curve, reactions, and composure are poor. I mean, he's got some very good stats, like his shot power, his jumping, um, you know, his, his crossing's very good, his pace is well-rounded, but... Not not for me. I, I, I don't feel that this is a great card on the whole. I feel that he's got too many flaws to him personally. I like the way that they're giving us players that we don't really know, going for under-23 players and stuff like that from, from certain leagues. And hopefully EA will continue to do that throughout this promo uh, for, for, for team of the season. I think that's going to be very, very good. But I just feel that there are so many other better alternatives to him that I just don't quite see the value for money. I don't think he'd be terrible, but I just don't... I feel like this Rodrigo card, if he got upgraded, I think he'll get like a one-plus upgrade once he on Wednesday for that draw against Sevilla. And I can't exactly remember what this SBC required, but I don't think it was requiring that much more than what uh, Ander requires here. Uh, I just feel... I mean, to be honest, like the left-wing position isn't blessed with too many great players because, you know, Hazard costs an absolute fortune. Marcus Asensio was a free card, to be fair, which, uh, you know, which just isn't too bad. Griezmann isn't good because of his lack in pace, but yeah, for, for me, I, I like the, the concept of going with this SBC if we're going for under-23 players that we might not kind of... the aren't household names like, you know, Gerard PK, like Joaquin and stuff like that, but for me... I think this has been the worst SBC that we've had so far for the La Liga team of the season. I like the concept. I just feel that the card has got too many flaws in him. So, uh, And I feel that he's simply too expensive as well. For, for the card that you're getting in return, I think at this stage of the game, he's too expensive. And I don't think he'd be the greatest addition to your teams. But anyway, guys, that will finish off this video. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys later.